are at work, you are getting really close to being able to go home and start your weekend. So, I am here to bring you Friday's Inspiration Motivation. Last week, um, I got busy and things got completely a little crazy for me and I did not get to last week's Inspiration Motivation. So, essentially though, what I was planning on doing is what I'm doing today. And so, let's get this up. I'm getting a lot faster at this. So this is kind of exciting for me that I'm finally figuring out how to do the live and not have to do a lot of fussing around. Anyway, what we're going to talk about, well, actually let me back that up a little bit. Um, I think that I do a lot of talking about going for your dreams. and. I, for me, that's because it's important to me for me to go to my dreams. And it's important for me that the people that um, I love and care for, that they get a chance to go for their dreams. Because it's in our dreams that lies the potential to bring something into our lives that brings us a lot of joy. And I want people to get a chance to experience their dreams. And uh, uh, the, one of the realities is that sometimes when you dream, what you get isn't exactly what you thought the dream was going to be. But at least you tried. You're never going to find out if you're going to enjoy something that you've been dreaming about unless you try. And so I spent a lot of time encouraging people to follow their dreams and to not give up on their dreams. And so today we're going to take that theme and kind of flip-flop it a little bit. And I'm going to talk about supporting others in their dreams. And you do this by understanding what you need from other people in your pursuit of your dreams. So this morning I found a quote and I posted that on my Facebook page. And this is what it says. Surround yourself with the dreamers and doers, the believers and thinkers, but most of all, surround yourself with those who see greatness within you, even when you don't see it within yourself. And it's one of those things that in the pursuit of our dreams, there's going to be failures and there's going to be those moments of doubt and everything. Hold on a moment. I'm doing a live. I'll be out in a minute. It's Friday. My husband gets off work early and I had forgotten that he gets off early and so I didn't have this quite timed out. So anyway, uh, now I've lost my train of thought. Give me just a moment. Oh, it's when we run into the obstacles in pursuing our dreams that we really need those people that are going to rally around us and support us. And we need to do that for other people. Now, We've all encountered people who, uh, what I'm going to call dream killers, dream doubters, or dream failers. And so let me give you just a little brief inspira uh, inspiration, uh, give you a brief explanation of what that looks like to me. So dream killers are people that attack the dreamer and keeps attacking what that person is believing for until they have got them so messed up and doubting themselves that they quit dreaming and they just give up because of that person who just kept attacking and telling them why they couldn't and why it was stupid and all this other stuff. Then you have the dream doubters. Dream doubters tell you why your dream can't happen and they're going to keep telling you that it's because of this and because of that and everything. And they're just trying to discourage you from pursuing your dreams. And then you have what I call the dream failures. Dream failures to me can actually see your potential, but they don't want you to succeed because they themselves gave up on their own dreams. And so they take comfort in when other people give up on their dreams as well. And so they don't want that person to, f the reason they want that person to fail is so they can feel better about themselves. 
So, um, now the thing of it is, is when you are encouraging other people to say, to uh, follow their dreams, your encouragement does not guarantee their success. But your encouragement does encourage them to keep trying and it makes them feel encouraged and willing to take risk and hold on I'm trying to my, my thoughts all got scattered and I'm trying to pull them back right now okay I'm just going to give you some examples and these are from my teenage years and um, you know, we've all encountered people that when we wanted to try something, di didn't exactly encourage us. And so, when I was 14, I wanted to try out for my school's dance team. And I had gone to all the practices and everything. And when it was time to go to tryouts, the person who gave me a ride to the tryouts, uh, as I'm getting out of the car, told me, I hope you don't make it because I really like watching you in the band. And that bothered me because this was something that was important to me and instead of telling me good luck or anything you told me you didn't want me to make it and uh, consequently not consequently I didn't make it but it wasn't because I didn't try it was just because I wasn't as good as the other girls that were trying out and when my ride picked me up I got into the car and I said, well, you got your way. I didn't make it. And it's one of those things that, I mean, in the long run, I'm okay that I didn't make it. I was far more hurt by the fact that that person, instead of telling me good luck, um, actually did something that really hurt me. And the thing of it is, they could have said, something very differently that would have at least made me feel supported. They could have told me, you know what, go out there and do the best you can, but just remember that if you don't make it, you're still part of the band and you contribute and you do a great job as a member of the band. That would have been better for me. And then I also had, uh, me and my husband got married when I was two weeks out of high school. And I was still 17 years old and planning on going to college, even though I was going as a married woman. And I had someone in my family who told me that I wasn't going to finish college. And I'm like, why do you say that? And she goes, because you're married and you, you're not going to finish college because of that. Okay. Now, what she could have done that would have been encouraging is said, you know what, you're really smart and I'm glad that you're going to college. Um, and I'm, I'm here to support you, but I, I do want to warn you that it is harder as a married person than it is as a single person. And the reality is, is it is because you're trying to do something for yourself while being in a relationship, <clears throat> being in a relationship. And that would have been a whole lot more supportive of me pursuing college than if than what she had actually said to me because that still hurts today that she didn't support me in that and i mean my reality is is i didn't finish college but it wasn't because i mean college is still my dream i just haven't succeeded at it yet and it's still my dream because I have enough presence within myself that this is something I want to pursue and something that's important for me and I'm not going to let people talk me out of it or tell me I can't. And so, um, now I'll, I'll be honest, the person who told me that, I think that that was her weird warped way of telling me that I'm going to fail so that I will try harder to succeed. And the thing of it is, is that's not how you encourage people. It just, it has to be something within me and it has to be something that is supported uh, by others to help me through those difficult times. 
And so look at what you need to pursue your dreams. What do you need from other people that's going to encourage you? And then when you encounter other people who are pursuing their dreams, then remember what you need when you pursue yours and then do that for that person. Now I'm gonna give you some ideas because this was a thing on how, they, how to be an encourager. So how can you encourage someone when they're trying something new? When they tell you their idea, ask them why they wanna do it. And ask them why it's important to them. You're showing interest in something that they're, they're, they're wanting to do. And that's a way of encouraging them. Ask them how they're going to do it. What is your plan? And then as they start to work through their plan and they've done this, then you go to them and say, okay, you did this. What's your next step? How can I help you with that next step? And by showing an interest and a positive interest in what they're doing, you're going to be supporting them. You're going to be encouraging them. Then tell them, I believe in you. If it's something that you can see is going to be hard for them, there is nothing wrong in telling them that it's going to be hard. But what you do is you tell them, this is going to be hard but I believe in you. I know you can do this. And I want you that when you're feeling discouraged, you come to me, I'm giving you a pep talk because I'm gonna help you in this. And just as simple as telling them, go for it. I've got your back. You can do this. And it, it doesn't have to be big or grand gestures, just let them know that you're there and that you want their success. And the great thing about encouraging others is it comes full circle. When you are going for your dreams, that person that you showed encouragement to, they're going to be there to encourage you because they know that you were part of their success and they want to be a part of yours. So that's it for today. Go out and encourage somebody. Have a great weekend and we will see you next time around. Bye.